Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you some basic laboratory equipments as we use different apparatus in chemistry to perform chemical analysis. In beaker, conical flask which is also called as Erlen Mayer flask, measuring cylinder, burette, pipette, glass rod, test tubes and retort stand. So let's start. The first one here you can see it's a beaker. Uh, the beaker it's made up of glass. It's parallel on two sides. It's made up of ordinary glass or it is also some it is also made up of borosilicate glass. Here you can see it's a measure of 250 uh, milliliters but uh, we get uh, beakers of the range 100 ml as well as 50 ml. Now here this one is called as conical flask. It is also called as Erlin Mayer flask. Conical flask. It is also called as Erlin Mayer flask. Now conical flask is used in titrations to ca or carrying out reactions. Now due to their shape, conical shape, these flasks are efficient in containing splashing of chemicals while we are swirling. They come, these uh, flasks also come in different sizes 50 ml, 100 ml or here you can see it's 250 ml. This is measuring cylinder. They are graduated slender glass cylinders. They are used for uh, ex accurate measurement of liquids. They come in measures ranging from 5 ml to 100 ml. This one here is a 100 ml uh, graduated cylinder. You can see. 100 ml, 90 ml, 80 ml. These are all marking, exact markings. Uh, here this is a plastic uh, one but usually we use uh, glass, glass ones. This is a pipette. It is a, here it is a 5 ml pipette. These pipettes are also graduated pipettes. Um, we, even though we are having measuring cylinders, uh, we use uh, pipettes. These pipettes are used for uh, more accurate measurement of liquids. They are available in a measure of 5 ml, 10 ml, 20 ml, 25 ml so on. Here it is a graduated uh, uh, pipette. Um, otherwise without graduation also we get pipettes. Now this is a suction bulb. Also it is used for sucking out the liquid. Next you can see this is a burette. Uh, this this burette is a long slender graduated cylindrical tube. Uh, one end is open and the other end is here has got a thin nozzle. Uh, there is a here there is a stopper to open the uh, let to allow the liquid to flow out. Uh, other uh, uh, burettes may have pinch cock for releasing the liquid. Uh, burettes are graduated. They here, here it is a 50 ml burette. Uh, we also get a burette uh, of uh, 25 ml capacity. Now, these are called test tubes. Uh, they are used to carry out simple reactions. These small mouth test tubes, uh, they will come for, uh, at a measure of 5 to 10 ml. These are uh, ordinary glass test tubes. Uh, where reactions uh, include high heating or high boiling is required, we get boiling test tubes uh, which are used for uh, stronger heating. This is a glass rod. Uh, one end is uh, flat and the other end you can see it's like a nail. This is used for uh, uh, dropping indicators or for uh, swelling, uh, stirring the mixtures. These are called as glass rods. This is called a reagent bottle. Reagent bottle are uh, glass bottles. Completely they are made up of glass. Even the cork is made up of glass to absorb moisture, to keep the moisture within the bottle and not allow the flow of heat or moisture from the bottle. Usually in the uh, measure of 250 ml.